Hey guys, I'm Oblivion903 here once again, and this is part 9 of my Goldeneye playthrough. And, uh, in the last video, I completed the level train, which was the last part of mission 6. Uh, so in this video, I am starting mission 7, uh, which is the last mission of the game. Uh, I'm starting with part 1, uh, which is called Jungle. I've got three objectives here. Uh, first, to destroy the drone guns. Uh, second, to eliminate Xena. And last but not least, to escort Natalia to Janice's base. Uh, so I'm just going to click start now and just dive right into this one. Right, so here we go, it's kicking off the level now. And uh, I've got to say, this isn't actually the first time that I've played this level. Um, pretty much every video in this series so far was pretty much done off the bat. Um, much like most of my videos, there's not too many times where I've actually played the uh, section of the game prior to recording. Um, obviously over the years I have played this game a fair bit, so I do sort of know. But it has been a good few years since I've done it, so a lot of it is just from memory. Uh, from those times, uh, I haven't had really any practice in any of the other videos. Um, except this one, I have struggled massively with this one. I don't know why. Um, I really can't figure out why it was so difficult. Uh, it took me a good few runs just to sort of even just get past uh, the first few sections of the game. Uh, normally, I could just go straight through them, but even the first couple of bits I was really struggling with. And then I got a little bit better. Uh, I managed to get to like a couple of objectives done, uh, such as the defeat in like Xena section of the uh, level. Was able to do that fine, and then I sort of got to the last part of the mission, and I kept dying. Then, and then I started getting pretty good at it uh, to the point where I could probably do it. And then I had a few occasions where Natalia got killed, uh, which sucked and really spoiled the run. Obviously, meant I couldn't complete the level. So. Yeah, it's it's been a tough one, I've got to say, that's why there's been a bit of a delay in between videos. Um, but, not to worry, I'm just going to crack on now. Um, as you can see, uh, killing all these soldiers that I can see so far. Uh, you've got to be really careful in this one. If you just sort of run out and fight, you will end up just getting killed. I believe each uh, machine gun hit can take up to about one and a half bars of health, so not too many of them would... Uh, would kill you, so I've got to be really careful, and I'm using my uh, PP7 quite a lot. I'm um, just trying to conserve ammo because uh, if you're not really good at shooting with the machine gun, you can just go through your ammo way too quickly. So uh, that's why I'm using the PP7 at this moment in time. Right, there we go, I was just going to have some body armour there, I managed to get that. There's quite a few hidden around in this level, so I'll be sort of trying to make use of them if I can. Right, just going to take out these enemies here. I think there's quite a few of them there. Right, uh, just notice I'm starting to get a bit low on my ammo for the PP7, looks like there's a turret there. It's going to take a bit of cover and uh, there we go, it's got the machine gun out and I just took out that turret. Right, so I'm going to try and stock up on some ammo there. Right, I believe uh, behind me somewhere over here there is some body armour. I'm uh, just going to go back for that, uh, just before I go to the next bit, because this next bit is where Xena is uh, for Objective B. Right, I don't think I can actually uh, take the body armour, which is good. Uh, it means I must have uh, full body armour and not enough to uh, take it, which will obviously help later on, because I can go back for that one if I do take a lot of damage. Uh, heading over here, there we go, the uh, dialogue just played out. There is a turret over here. If I can try to take this out. Right, now a little tip for this one is to try and stay as close to her as possible. If you get too far back, she will use the rocket launcher, which uh, will do a lot of damage. Right, so uh, that was actually a lot easier than expected. Um, it did take quite a bit of uh, body armor off me, but if you remember me saying there was some just up here. 
uh, which will come in handy now like I said it was a, probably a good thing that I didn't pick it up the first time right there we go got the body armor and uh, now we're gonna head back to where Xena was and carry on uh, towards the end of the mission and um, there's still a decent section to go but uh, we've got for the most part probably about halfway done now uh, just got a big section to go and uh, sorry excuse that random shooting there right this is where Xena was I've picked up the two guns that she drops I'm just gonna head down here I don't believe there's actually anything kicking about here now what we're gonna do is go into the cave uh, this is the final section of the game. This is where Janice's base, uh, the door for that is. Um, however, there is a lot of enemies in here that are going to get in our way. So as you can see, I'm just trying to pick them off one at a time. Uh, they will do a lot of damage. There is a lot of groups of them. So if you sort of get caught in the crossfire, you can really drain your health down quick. And uh, like I said, it's actually proved to be a really hard mission for me. I don't know why, especially with the fact that it's on agent, it's as easy as it's going to get. Um, I must have done this level countless times in my younger days, so I don't know why I've had so much trouble. Uh, whether it's just because I haven't played it in a while, and obviously controllers have changed, and uh, gameplay has changed over the last 15 years or so. So maybe I'm just not used to it, but never mind, uh, moving on. Just as you can see, there's a lot of enemies that are kicking about in this area. There's a big group of them over here. Right, just going to be really careful. And Italia does play a pretty good part in this uh, level. Normally she just gets in the way. And she still can get in the way, so you've still got to watch out for it to be killed. But she will actually pick enemies off. Uh, that's another turret uh, down as well. And the last one's just here. There we go. That's objective A completed. Uh, so yeah, she actually does do quite well. She does take out quite a lot of enemies in this level. But like I say, you've still got to watch out, especially if there's any explosions. She will walk through them uh, for some strange reason and she will die. Um, on the times where I've done pretty well in this mission, it has always been Italia that has caused the issue. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, she's always at fault. I have uh, died quite a few times playing this mission, but I think I'm getting quite good now. Right, there we go. Natalia just sort of escaped that explosion. Um, when I just saw her there I really panicked she was going to get taken out uh, thankfully she hasn't though so we can move on um, basically now I've just got to watch out and make sure my health doesn't go uh, if I can try to get some explosions going on hopefully I can take out uh, this group of enemies my body armor starting to take a bit of a hit but I've still got quite a lot of health left over uh, should that happen I don't know there might be some more body armor kicking about uh, that would be ideal yeah, but for now, just going to try and take these enemies out. I think there's one going to pop up there. Yeah, taking him out there. And because of this cave, it's like it's quite hard to navigate around, and also the fact, as you can see there to the left, there's sort of a guy there that, at, if you went the right way, which I did, you might not see him. And uh, if you do that too many times, you can really get your health taken down. I did say earlier on that they do take about one and a half bars per hit. So uh, we're getting right to the end now. Uh, that is the door. Uh, just going to run through there. I did hear a little explosion there. I, thankfully, Natalia didn't get killed. Uh, that's the ending little cinematic video. And that is the mission finally done. Um, I know it's not uh, much to you obviously you've just watched me complete that with no trouble but you would not believe how many times I've just tried to do that I'm so happy that's done um, 8 minutes so it's not bad I wasn't going for the target time so the next mission is part 2 this one is the control centre uh, we've got 3 more missions to go and then that will be the end of the game um, but I'm going to be leaving that for the next video uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to come across in this level, so I don't want to have to restart this whole video again. Like I said, I've had so much trouble with Jungle, so I'm going to leave it there and have a fresh video for the next one. So, thanks for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in part 10. Until then, bye for now.